let's start. Right. Okay, so let's start. So nine years ago, when I became a mother for the very first time, I got thrown off balance. I got lost into the trap of overgiving, as so many mothers do. And I woke up years later and realized I didn't know who I was, and I didn't know what I really wanted for myself. At the time, I didn't know exactly I wasn't clear professionally either. I got lost. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, and so I was feeling a bit restless, not knowing what I wanted to do professionally. I just had moved. I just had had a second son. And all I know was that, yeah, I was missing somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going with this slide. Anyways, um, and I was looking for an answer to come to me from the outside. I was looking for something that would make everything fall into place into my life. Uh, and I also was looking for a way to get my pelvic floor back in shape after the birth. So this is when I got introduced to the jade egg. So just kind of hand whom, who knows what a jade egg is. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, if you don't know, I have one just in case. And I will. I go back and explain a bit more, but what that is, it's an uh, ancient energy practice and that you inserted in your vagina, in case you were doubting. Um, <laughs> and then you do all sorts of things. It's not just putting in, there's a lot of practice and breathing involved, and I'll, I can talk about it later. I'll get back to it, actually. So I got introduced to that practice, and that just, things started to shift, because I stopped just looking like a restless person for something to do that would really fulfill me and reconnect to who I was, the person that I had forgotten I was. But what happened is I opened up to my sexual energy and I started to work with it. Things just changed and just things got clear. Things got much more clear and somehow I connected back through the practices and other things. And what happened mostly is that I got that alignment that I was missing. And I had the empowerment through that. So we don't necessarily need uh, to go that route, but my route was sexual empowerment. So connecting back to my sexual energy allowed me to like remember who I was. So that was really uh, a turning point. And I had, to, I had to go on a journey, so I decided I'm, I need to go on a self-discovery journey, and I had to start by being really honest with myself and realize how low my self-worth had dropped, because that can happen when you stop working for a while. Um, and then I also had to reconnect to my body and start to really listen, to not just think about what I needed, but really listen in. And this is where I learned to not only accept, but love my postpartum body as it was. Then I had to awaken and reconnect to the central woman in me. So that's all happened through discovering and working with the jade egg. Um, feminine energy is something that can give you lots of, lots of things, and we all need more of it. Sorry, I'm getting over this slide. So I want to say that. That's the main message. I want to say that your feminine energy is a superpower. Okay, and this is not something that we're being taught in school, certainly not. Uh, it's not necessarily valued. And when I talk about feminine energy, is also sensual energy, uh, connection to being, to having pleasure as a woman. So it's not something we've learned. What we learn is to go bigger, better, faster, and that if you stop or if you slow down, then you appear to be weak, right? So. Let's call BS on that, and times are changing. We're all here today, celebrating Women's International Day, and we are rising. But to do it in an integrated and balanced way, we have to reconnect to that feminine energy and to allow it more into our lives. So more pleasure, yes. Um, yeah, and if you're not sure how to start, the gateway is your body. It is your body. So I'd like just to do one thing. Um, just placing one hand, you can close your eyes for that if it's more comfortable, one hand on your heart, you can stay sitting, one hand on your pussy or your womb if you're more comfortable. <laughs> just feel what's right for you. 
And as you close your eyes, just connect to, we all have to make decisions all the time, right? We have so many decisions, big ones, small ones. So just grab one, one decision that you're supposed to make, that you want to make. And listen in. You can listen to your gut, but I think it's funnier. It's nicer when you go by yourself. <laughs> and just tune in and listen what your body is saying. Okay. Yes. So you could do that now, and if you don't have something to decide right now, you can do that at home or later. And yes, it should be something normal that we start doing. Like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just taking a decision. I'm connecting to my body. Yeah, I should do that. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's what happened. When you start to connect to your body and your central power, that is very powerful, very fierce, then you stop doubting yourself. And this is the main thing, is you stop questioning your every move and you trust your intuition. So we talked about that today. Other speakers talked about how to do that. Okay, you can start and work also with your feminine energy in a physical way. So, yeah, I want to, do, I want to explain how to do it and how, you, how it can work for you. Because what's important is find what works for you. Once again, your body is unique. What worked for me might not work for you, okay? So you have to really find what gives you pleasure, what is nourishing to you. And maybe it's dancing, maybe it's a way to connect to your energy and that central energy, or maybe it will be something else. Maybe it's just saying no when you think you should say no, when you feel the urge to say no, uh, and just rest and do whatever is good for you. But find a way for you to lean into more pleasure into your life. So I wanted to go back to the egg because that's one of the things that <laughs> I do. For me, the egg, um, I do lots of things with it. I found it through just wanting to reinforce my pelvic floor, but in the end, it's so much more. It awakened the energy that I needed to reconnect to myself, and now I use it for self-pleasure, sure, manifesting with sexual energy, why not, and also healing or releasing emotions whenever I need to. So. It might not be your thing, but find your way, get curious, find what gives you pleasure. If you like dancing again, if you like eating some delicious food, just go and do more of that. And yes, listen to your womb pussy. Okay, um, yes, so any stuff practice and all of that. Um, so I want you to, yes, be curious once more and just remember that we all deserve to bring more pleasure and feminine energy into our lives.